Dear students, after studying this module, you shall be able to know about biodegradability, know about facts which are involved in the biodegradability process, know about biodegradable products and effects on environment, know about time period of decomposition of the biodegradable products, know about decomposition of food, plants and animals in their stages, know about positive and negative in impact on environment and also know about advantages of biodegradable products. Let us begin with the introduction of this topic. Biodegradation is a chemical process through action of microorganisms in which substances transform into new compounds. Biodegradable compounds are generally organic materials like plant and animals and substances produced by living organisms. Biodegradable substances or materials do not contain any synthetic component. From an environmental point of view, biodegradability is helpful process to control pollution. In this process, microorganisms play an important role to keep the environment clean. Biodegradable products are environment friendly and are able to decompose back into natural elements. In nature, biodegradable material is degraded in air through oxygen. Biodegradation enhances by an extracellular surfactant called biosurfactant. Some artificial materials similar to plants and animals can be biodegraded by microorganisms. Biodegradable substances are decomposed biological processes. Such substances are also marked as biodegradable materials. Some products that are broken down by microorganisms get transformed into eco-friendly waste. And this type of product has ability to decompose into natural and non-toxic substances. Recycling is also carried on in which they are reverted into their previous form. Paper is a good example of biodegradable product which is made of wood pulp and used paper is recycled then it changes into reusable paper. There are many other biodegradable substances like plastics, fabric, jute cloth bags, kitchen waste, all vegetable peels, chicken bones, eggshells and waste foods etc. Now let us come to the no detailed discussion of biodegradable products. There are many such products which are decomposed by bacteria, fungi and other microorganisms and are many new eco-friendly materials and natural biodegradable products. Biodegradable detergent and soaps are also known. Lemon batteries, beeswax, stationery such as pencils, folders and erasers plant pesticides, plant steaks, flower pots, jute curtains, diapers, waste bags, cups, plates and utensils, glue and paints, hair care products, cosmetic products, compost bins, etc. We will see some biodegradable products and then we will look into it in detail. First is the plastic. Plastic is biodegradable product. It is easily broken down by microorganisms and by recycling process it returns to the nature. Two basic classes of biodegradable plastics are one is bioplastics. The, they are the components of bioplastics are derived from renewable raw materials and plastics made from petrochemicals which enhance biodegradation. So such kind of plastics are basically biodegradable. There are some polymers like polyester, cellulose and cellulose nitrate and are, they are also broken by the microorganisms. Starch based plastics degrade within 4 months in home. But polylactic acid is not easily decomposed as it requires a high temperature for degradation. Now we come on to the biodegradable waste. Biodegradable waste is one of the type of biodegradable products. Biodegradable waste is decomposed in a reasonable amount of time. It is degraded through microorganisms and living things also. 
Generally, biodegradable waste is found in municipal solid waste. In absence of oxygen, biodegradable waste decays into methane and contributes to global warming and the climate change. Biodegradable waste is used for composting or as a resource for heat generation. Now, what are the advantages of biodegradable products? Let us study that. Ordinary polythene takes about 100 years to degrade and biodegradable polyethene degrades in around 5 years. Its degradation starts in the presence of sunlight, moisture and microorganisms. Such products and biodegradable bags take much less time to decompose and if they are not recycled, then biodegradable plastic, which also takes a little time to decompose, is absorbed by earth and it pollutes the soil in the earth. In the production of biodegradable products, the process emits less harmful greenhouse gases and carbon. Thus, these products are better for the environment. Biodegradable plastics are made from biomass and it is a completely renewable source which can be used again and again. In production of biodegradable products, this requires less energy and then the non-biodegradable products. Thus, we can make more products of a biodegradable nature by using same amount of energy than what is required for the non-biodegradable products. These products are also reused very efficiently. They are non-toxic. Thus, these products are completely safe. Biodegradable products easily break down and absorb into the earth and they are good for the environment also. They reduce the quantity of pollutants in the atmosphere too. Now we shall come on to the topic of composting. Organic material is transformed into healthy fertile soil through reaction of bacteria, yeast and fungi. This process is called as composting. What is the effect of composting on the ecosystem? In biodegradation process, microorganisms convert organic material into useful substances. Biodegradable products decrease the quantity of pollutants in the atmosphere. These products can be used as fertilizers in agriculture and increase the health of the soil too. These products decompose easily, thus it is not gathered as waste and it also reduces the quantity of waste collected at a certain place. Biodegradable products also have negative effect on the environment when it is used in high amounts. These products decompose to emit greenhouse gases or carbon in lesser amount which is less harmful for the environment as well as for the human health. Thus, if we use more such products, then it can affect the environment in a positive way. Some biodegradable products are renewable, so they reduce the amount of waste too. After studying composting, we shall now come to decomposition. In nature, biodegradable products decomposed by microorganisms, fungi and bacteria. Decomposition is the process in which organic substances are broken down into simple materials or useful materials. Decomposition takes place in many natural or artificial substances. First in this is the animal decomposition. There are generally five stages by which animals are decomposed. First one is fresh. This stage is the immediate state in which the first the heart stops beating. Subsequently, blood is not pumped and finally death is caused. After death, the muscular tissues become incapable and rigid within 5 to 6 hours. Body releases heat in the atmosphere and becomes cool after death. Second is the bloating or the bloat. Microorganism reactions takes place on the body first in the stage and gases like methane, hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide are released in this process. Due to the accumulation of gases within the body, bloated appearance and occurs and also liquids and liquefied tissues become frothy in nature. It is also called anaerobic stage. In these stages, bacteria converts hemoglobin into sulfur hemoglobin. 
third process is the active decay active decay causes greatest mass losses fourth is the advanced decay this stage is also called inhibitor stages stage because decomposition of animal is inhibited in this stage it is due to availability of cadaveric material fifth is the remains this stage is characterized by loss of everything on the body except bones and dry skin after having studied the animal decomposition we now come on to the plant decomposition decomposition of plants also occurs in many stages first leaching by water is most easily lost and soluble carbon compounds are liberated fragmentation is another process to decompose plant material into smaller bits microorganism easily attack on it because it has a greater surface area fungi play an important role on decomposition of plants in plant decomposition carbon dioxide is always released now let us come to the food decomposition meat gets easily decomposed by bacteria and fungi in a short time food made by onion or garlic decomposes early in 6 to 7 hours for food safety we need to freeze it milk made items are also decomposed by fungi in very short time so prevention of food decomposition there are various methods to prevent food to spoil that is decomposition of food refrigeration is the best option to protect food and beverage from spoilage to protect coffee soup and other foods you should keep them at the 139 degree fahrenheit for over 24 hours lactic acid fermentation also protects food from spoilage after having talked about the biodegradable products the various types of decomposition etc let us now summarize this module we taught you in this module that biodegradation is a biochemical process which is performed by microorganisms biodegradation is a natural process which occurs every day in our lives there are many positive and negative aspects of biodegradable products too and we have discussed all of them in detail in this module and their decomposition depends on the use of biodegradable products by us ordinary plastics they create many problems like they will decompose in 100 years so they will cause pollution so the solution is the use of biodegradable plastics and their products they reduce the condition of danger to the environment positive effects of biodegradable products are that they release lesser amount of greenhouse gases and carbon dioxide so they are much useful and they harm the environment in a much lesser manner so i hope students from this not only you have learned something about the environment but also lessons not to pollute the environment by using non biodegradable biodegradable products so i hope you found this module very very informative